They actually did it. The mad lads actually did it. They actually showed the all-in footage. Last night's AEW Dynamite was one of the most talked about episodes in a long time and it's for all the wrong reasons and it's safe to say that it did not get the intended reaction. So I'm here to throw my two cents in and discuss all the drama surrounding last night's AEW Dynamite. There's also some other AEW drama with guys leaving the company which I was gonna discuss in this video but after last Last night we just need to focus on that so leave a like if you want to see that video discussing the other AEW dramas but let's talk about this footage For over six months now, we have heard all the stories and all the different sides and all the accounts from the infamous backstage scuffle that took place at All In Wembley 2023 between CM Punk and Jack Perry. The incident of course took place following Jack Perry's pre-show match with Hook where during this match Jack Perry and Hook brawled on a car windshield which prompted Jack Perry to yell directly at the camera, real glass, go cry me a river. This was a reference to a few weeks prior during a collision taping where according to CM Punk, Jack Perry was cussing out AEW agents and officials who didn't want him to do a spot involving real glass on the show. CM Punk had to intervene and tell Jack not to do it and that was that until Jack Perry said what he said during All In. And these comments by Jack Perry during the match would of course lead to the backstage scuffle they had where Punk approached him backstage after the match and there are many different accounts and stories like I said for what happened at the time and we now of course know what did actually happen because we've all seen it but we'll get there in a second. Both men were sent home and suspended for the incident with Punk ultimately being terminated from his AEW contract in the end and Tony Khan would address the AEW fans at All Out in Chicago the next week by saying he felt in danger for his life and that's why he had to make the decision he did which further stirred the pot. But that was it for CM Punk in AEW. CM Punk of course returned back to WWE and the rest is history and All In could be left in the past. Or not. Last week CM Punk appeared for an interview with Ariel Helwani and this was his first major interview outside of WWE post WWE return and AEW departure so you already knew that everything was going to be discussed and addressed in this interview and of course it was. The interview was kind of like the current day version of that Colt Cabana podcast he did all those years ago after he left WWE as he spoke pretty negatively of his experience in AEW, called Tony Khan a clown and spoke about the all out and all in incidents and he talks about the Perry incident and gave his own version of events pretty much stating the scuffle was minor and he quote responsibly choked Jack Perry. And like I said, Punk telling the all in story was only a small part of an interview where he spoke very negatively on AEW. Like I said, he called Tony a clown. He said that AEW isn't a real business, are unprofessional and talks about how he wanted to quit AEW for a long time before he was fired. AEW would respond to this interview in typical AEW fashion by taking subtle digs at CM Punk on on TV via the Young Bucks by having them giving shout outs to the scapegoat Jack Perry who hadn't been mentioned in months on AEW TV. And it could have just been left at that with AEW doing their usual little digs but instead they then decided to take it one step further as on this past week's collision immediately after night one of Wrestlemania it was announced that the Young Bucks would be airing the never before seen all in backstage footage. And this was obviously a major shock and a massive announcement and when reports came out that it wasn't going to be a troll like many were speculating and they were legit going to air the all in footage, people were even more shocked. And then of course the night of AEW Dynamite came around last night and eyes were locked in to see if they were actually going to do it and they were actually going to show it. And let me tell you that the mad lads actually did it. They actually showed the full AEW all-in backstage scuffle between CM Punk and Jack Perry. The scuffle aired with no audio and just a video as it showed Jack Perry in the backstage gorilla area post-match surrounded by his opponent Hook, Samoa Joe, referees, producers and on the right there's a row of monitors that presumably Tony Khan is behind. In comes CM Punk, exchanges some words with Perry, shoves Perry once while he's fixing his hair which gets the whole room alert, shoves him 
him again. Perry goes for the takedown. Punk gets him in a headlock. In runs Samoa Joe and all the producers to break it up. And as it's being broken up, it looks as though CM Punk goes right towards Tony Khan. And I'm going to assume that unless there's a separate incident, this could be what Tony was referring to when he said he felt his life was threatened. And that's about that. The Young Bucks are presenting this footage and kind of trying to make it into a storyline for their match with FTR, which while as an AEW viewer can be appreciated, the damage is done to any viewer new to AEW and following the airing of the backstage footage, all anyone was talking about was of course the footage and not the storyline that it's meant to be a part of. The scuffle was kind of a mix of all the previous accounts of it which makes sense and it kind of fits exactly what Punk said and proved him right. And no, I'm not arguing that Punk wasn't being unprofessional. He was being unprofessional, but when did he ever argue that he wasn't? It proved him right as the exchange went exactly how he told it on the Ariel Helwani interview and all AEW did with airing this footage backstage was make themselves look like a joke to non-AEW viewers. Heck, even the fans in the arena were chanting CM Punk while it was being shown to them. All in all, the overall reaction to this has been very negative on AEW with people seeing it as unprofessional, proving CM Punk right and not the way the company needs to go all of which I kind of agree with. It's happened now. What's happened has happened and AEW will feel the consequences of this, but it's time they need to move on from this situation. Brawl in and brawl out feel like they were light years ago and it's crazy they're still giving it attention. And yes, I also think everyone involved in the incident should also just stop mentioning it, not just AEW, but the fans will never forget the incident. It was an infamous moment in wrestling history and now it's being brought back up again in a very public way by AEW, who have have done that by choice just didn't need to happen it felt like aew had a great opportunity to get away from these incidents by just ignoring punk's comments that was the time to finally just ignore what he was saying to me there's no point acknowledging it for storyline purposes because cm punk's not even in the company anymore i was the biggest advocate for them to turn the brawl out stuff into a storyline with the elite but that's while cm punk was still with the company he's not with you anymore don't worry about him it doesn't matter to this day i'll say that i don't blame aew for firing cm punk it was the second scuffle he had gotten into and he himself said he wanted to quit so you may as well just let him go and exist in wwe and just forget about it all but of course that can't be done and it came back to bite them because reports are going around that people in aew are very frustrated with the fact that this aired and that a wound has been reopened by needlessly giving this incident attention and again i don't blame them i feel bad for the talent at this point who are being overshadowed by the decision making like just before the footage aired there was a great match between penta el zero and adam copeland that now nobody cares about because of what happened after and the same goes for everything else in the show which is now just an afterthought and some of which i thought was really solid to be fair though the worst thing aew did on dynamite last night was airing chris jericho match right after that segment and speaking of bad decision making apparently airing the footage was entirely tony khan's idea and not even the young bucks were keen on it like i said aew just needs to move on from this but the fact they're using it for the storyline with ftr and the young bucks makes me fear that we're not getting away from this for a while and with a jack perry return probably not too far around the corner again i feel like we're not going to be getting away from this for a while non-aew fans watch this and thought aew was a joke while aew fans watch this and just want to see some actual wrestling this incident hurt the integrity of the company i'm sure aew fans don't want to keep hearing about it over and over like just focus on the positives focus on the wrestling like that's pretty much my thoughts here sure i love the drama and the backstage footage was some great viewing but aew is meant to be a wrestling show so give me the wrestling and leave the drama to the dirt sheets to report on and all the nerds to read about and yes i'm one of those nerds but leave the on-screen product to wrestling you know for the fans who are kind of expecting that i don't think AEW is dying or anything because of this nothing extreme like that but this has definitely negatively affected aew and done nothing but that Anyway guys, that's it from me. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation in the comments below and like the video if you want to see another AEW video discussing all the other drama that's going on there right now as well. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye and keep on rolling.